people coming from the forest went into our towns and uh, Cambodia would have to face misery. So the city is without people. The predictions were made by monks, Buddhist monks, celebrated uh, astrologers. We could not explain. I saw the misery of my people. There was no freedom and uh, there was a force labor, etc. So... The people are in high spirits for their beloved party secretary, Hamid Palpak, and other leading comrades of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Cambodia and of the government have come to attend this meeting. Pot delivered a speech amidst warm applause. He extended warmest greetings and congratulations to the people and the Revolutionary Army on the various fronts. Sometimes uh, people can appear. Under the wise and correct leadership of the revolutionary organization, Cambodia is one great work site, a land in construction. For three and a half years, the forced labor and endless purges were hidden from the outside world. Above all, the Khmer Rouge were obsessed to seal off their revolution from any control by their neighbor, communist Vietnam. They would fight the Vietnamese rather than serve under Hanoi's control. With the communist world divided, Pol Pot was backed by China, while Vietnam was aligned to the Soviet bloc. Pol Pot chose the Chinese camp against the Vietnamese and against uh, what my point was to make provocation against the Vietnamese. So uh, the result was that uh, we had a war with Vietnam and that was catastrophic for us. When the Vietnamese invaded to seize control of the country, the end of Pol Pot's rule did not bring an end to the suffering in Cambodia. And now, now, after the invasion of my country by the Vietnamese, our people uh, become to face Vietnamese imperialism and colonialism. So I have to fight. How can you persuade the Vietnamese and the Soviet to let us be independent again? <laughs> Comparing to one of those night animals who doesn't like the daylight. Pol Pot did have a triumphant rally, but only for the Khmer Rouge army. This secret footage shows his new cabinet, made up entirely of the loyal communists he led since the 60s. The government remained clandestine. It was simply called ANCA, or the organization, and few knew of the extreme plans Pol Pot had for Cambodia. From starvation and exhaustion. Family life was outlawed. Cambodians were told their new family was ANCA, Pol Pot's faceless party. Pol Pot was the beginning of an act of suicide for Cambodia. I believe that Pol Pot, at a profound and deep level, kind of understood that. And I believe his new openness, he allowed a few foreign journalists back into Cambodia. Their first question to the enigmatic leader was simple. Who are you? You are the first to know my biography. I wish to do away with all vestiges of the past. The first thing that struck me was... And within days, Vietnamese troops had taken the capital. Pol Pot had no choice but to flee. 
thanks to his own arrogance, he paved the way for his arch enemies to take over his nation. If he had given the Vietnamese no reason to want to attack him, Pol Pot could still be in charge today. The Vietnamese closed down the labor camps. The entire nation was on the move as Cambodians searched for lost relatives. With 100,000 troops under his command, he plotted his comeback. Throughout the 1980s, his troops attacked civilian trains, took hostages, and indiscriminately planted landmines throughout the countryside. While Pol Pot lurked in the shadows, he reverted to his old tactics. He put forward his affable deputy, Chu San Pan, as the respectable public face of the Khmer Rouge. And what Vietnamese? The West agreed. At the height of the Cold War, Pol Pot was a useful buffer against Vietnam. America's tacit support helped to sustain the Khmer Rouge. With UN backing, Sihanouk at last broke with Pol Pot. His triumphant return to Phnom Penh symbolized a new era of hope. Without his support, the Khmer Rouge were finished. By 1997,